I'm going to give you a rundown of a list of things that just bother me. The word black. Why is the word black always associated with something negative? Black Friday, it, you know, the cheapest day of the year. Why do you have to associate black with cheap? Black History Month got to be the shortest month of the year. Why does black get a, a bad deal? The only time black has a good name is when you say you're in the black. But that opposite of that is you're in the red and now you're picking on Indians. Dry cleaning. What the fuck's up with that? How do you dry clean something? When I go to the laundry, I put my clothes in the washing machine and it's water. You dry cleaning some shit, that don't mean nothing. All you're doing is ironing the dirt. McDonald's beef. Why is it that McDonald's has beef all through the day except in the morning? You can only get pork in the morning. You have Big Mac, you have Quarter Pounder. In the morning time, you motherfuckers don't have beef. You're McDonald's. You're all beef patties. Why you only have pork in the morning? Yo, what the fuck is up with Jamie Foxx's hairline? That shit looks like an elevator door slowly closing. I don't get it. All of a sudden, this nigga had a hairline like mine. Now, that shit look like daddy O's from Stetson Sonic. Fuck us up, Jamie. You're not fooling nobody. That bitch Stacey Dash is crazy, but she fine as fuck. What the fuck is up with TV Santas? What the fuck do they do the rest of the year? Every time I turn on a commercial during November, December, you got all these fucking fake ass TV Santas. But where the fuck do they go the other 10 months of the fucking year? I don't never see them niggas out. They only seem to pop out in November and December. Where the fuck do TV Santas go? And do they always have those beards through the rest of the year? Do they grow them shits in October in hopes that November and December they gonna get commercials? Explain to me that shit. Niggas sagging their jeans. Oh my God. Nigga, if you're over 25, stop sagging your jeans. And the little young boys that's doing it, that's wearing their fucking pants way down where I can see their drawers, that's disgusting. Stop it. That shit is not appealing. And bitches who walk in the street with men with sagging jeans, you're nothing but a fucking hood rat. Cut that shit out. Stop it. You gay motherfuckers. And that's not a diss to my gay community because I love y'all. What the fuck is up with beefing on Twitter? Nigga, anybody that's beefing with other niggas on the internet, y'all niggas are soft. When I grew up, a nigga had a beef, nigga go knock on your door, yo nigga, we got a problem. All this internet beefing, you can only put fucking 100 characters in there anyway, so you can't get all your sentences out anyway. So how the fuck is this nigga beefing with this nigga on Twitter? That is not gangster. Cut that shit out. Oh, this one burns me up. Opinions versus hating. I am sick and tired of people having strong opinions and then been labeled as haters. Just because I don't like something does not mean that I'm a hater. First of all, if I hate someone, I'd have to know them very well to hate them. So when I get labeled a hater because, oh, Lil Wayne's song that he got out, I don't like, that doesn't mean I'm a hater. That means I have a strong opinion and I just don't like this song. I don't know him personally, so I can't say that I hate this man. So for all you people out there always talking about, oh, John don't like this, John don't like that, you're a hater, eat a dick. What the fuck is up with rappers wearing dresses these days? Come on, man. Yay, you my dude. I love you. Love your music. I know you're an egotistical motherfucker, but that's okay. Sometimes I feel like that, and I feel like I'm better than the whole world. But that does not give me a right as a man to put on a dress and go out on stage. Kilts are for people who are Irish. That is their culture. You're black, you're from Chicago. You pulls to have on jeans. Simple as that. It's not high fashion. ASAP Rocky, you too. You are from Harlem. I'm from Harlem. I'm really disgusted in your ass because one, you're a Harlem rapper. Two, your name is Rakim, for real. And I don't know how the fuck you got that name because you are not Rakim. And then third, you come out on 106 and Park with a fucking dress on and try to bamboozle us, hoodwink us, like Plymouth Rock didn't land on us, but we landed on Plymouth Rock. And I know I said it backwards, but I don't give a fuck. That's how upset I am. It was a dress, nigga. Stop it. Stop it. Rappers, do not supposed to wear dresses unless you're a woman. Hey, if you want to be a woman, be a woman. But nigga, if you a man, take the dress off. Old niggas wearing denim jeans. Cut it out. Y'all old niggas out there need to have on khaki pads. I don't want to see my uncle who's 70 wearing denim jeans. Why? Because them shits is always pulled up to his fucking, fucking nipples and the shit just looks disgusting. His ass look like a bag of folded franks in the back of his pants. I don't want to see old men wearing denim jeans. Especially because 9 times out of 10, old niggas always wear two-tone denim jeans. Like they still in 73. Stop it. If you're going to wear denim jeans, make them all one color. Ashy wash does not count. And finally, the number one shit that's getting on my fucking nerve right now, y'all already know, the motherfucking Hall of Shape. Oh, nigga. Oh, nigga. Oh, nigga. Listen. 
Y'all already know. Y'all seen the video that I did. Let me just explain something because I got a lot of people getting mad at me about this shit. I don't have a problem per se with the videos. What I have a problem with is the perception that is putting out to everybody else. Now, what I'm getting at is none of you motherfuckers are doing the Harlem Shake in the video. So that is one. It's asinine. Don't call something something if it ain't what it's supposed to be. Nigga, you can't call a hamburger a hamburger if there's a tree in the middle of it. Anyway, like I'm saying, don't do the Harlem Shake if you're not going to do the Harlem Shake. That's my whole thing, because then you got people around the world coming, these fucking tourists coming to Harlem, thinking all of us motherfuckers is doing videos like this. And that shit is not true. Only time we doing this is when we fucking your girl. Stop doing that shit. Harlem Shake is over. Let it go. Move on. And the corny nigga who made that song, I hope I do see him, because I give him a Harlem Shake down. This is your boy John O, and these are just a few things to get on my goddamn nerve. Once a month, I'm going to post these shits, because I know in the next month, Something else is gonna get on my fucking nerve. Hopefully, it don't be your ass. I'm out. Kate told me to do this.